Hello everybody, I'm Harold. And I'm Chloe, and this is Nature's Friends. Today we're going to show you how to inoculate shiitake mushroom logs, which means how to grow shiitake mushrooms. Okay. First, we take, Chloe's going to take the drill, and we're going to start drilling our holes. And you drill the holes six inches apart, and then you turn the log once you've gone all the way down and make it to a diamond shape. And we'll show you. Doing a great job, Chloe. Okay, you roll it over. Start right here on this side. And then take it right to the end. Right to the end. Screen. Okay, this drill bit is one we get from field and forest that we get our spore from. It's a, about a half inch wide and it's about an inch deep and it's got its built in stop. So when you drill, it just it's, all the deeper you go is exactly what it needs to do. So now we're going to finish drilling the rest of the log and we're going to show you how to pack the spore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh Now we've just finished drilling all the holes into our log and as you can see it is in a diamond shape and they are six inches apart. They don't have to be exactly everything. As long as you get it close you want to get the spawn into the log. And this is the spawn. We get it from field and forest and has a shelf life of about six months when you keep it in the refrigerator. And you can get it in different size bags from there you can get a plug spawn you can get a sawdust spawn. Now we're going to show you how you pack it into the log. Okay, we're going to start packing the spawn now. You go to each hole. They make a tool for this that you can buy. But to save money, we use a quarter inch nut driver and it does the exact same thing. And you can see right now that we're just packing it in the hole and you fill the holes up. And after you get through doing about 20 or 30 logs, you get kind of tired. But this spore, after you let them set, and we'll explain to you about the incubation period when we get down to the patch with them, on what the spore lives on and where the mushrooms come out. How many times a year you can harvest this log? The log that we're using, we like about a three or four inch log. You can get them, these are three feet long because of the type of tank that we're going to soak them in. But you can make them four feet if you got a bigger tank or however how you're going to soak them. And you have to remember you have to handle the log. So if you get a very big one, like a six or a seven, eight, six or seven inch round one, it gets kind of tiresome picking them up because I'll show you when we get to the patch what it's about. Okay, the sawdust spawn that we type that we use, of course, it's mixed in sawdust. So, like I say, they make a plug spore spawn that you can use, but I've just never used that. I've always had good luck with the sawdust spore. So yeah, you get tied up about 20 logs close. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we've got all the holes packed, full of spore, spawn, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to go get our wax, 
and we're going to wax everything up so the spawn don't get out. And I'll explain to you all about that just when we get ready to now wax. Now we're back and we're going to start to seal the logs. We just you can just use a regular paintbrush. Okay, this is just either you can use beeswax. That's good. Or you can use paraffin wax like you use for your jelly canning. You just melt it and you paint it over each hole. And what that does is seals it so the spawn, spawn won't come out of it while the log is incubating. And I'll explain about the incubating as soon as we get down. Got to make sure you get them good. You can use a dauber. We use a little paintbrush. Oh, that does. Oh, that's so mm -hmm. cool. Just want to make sure everything gets sealed. Now that we finish sealing, we're going to go take it to the Chicago patch. I'm going to show you how we store them and have them go through the incubation period. Can you see how much that log weighs? Just think of it. Look long. Now we're back in with the Chicago patch. Okay, look, you can see how we got them stacked up, the ones we've already done. This is our soaking tank. And when this mushroom is growing, it don't necessarily come out of these holes where we where we put the spore in. They come out anywhere, wherever they want. This fall, we'll get a little nature's letdown with them, and they'll produce a few mushrooms. But they're getting inoculated now with the spores getting into the wood. So then next spring, we come down, and this is why we cut them three feet long. You fill this tank up full of water. You soak them for 24 hours. Then you take them out. Then in about three or four days, they'll start making mushrooms. And after you harvest them, you rest that log for three weeks. Then you can soak them again. So you have you get four pickings a year off of the log after you let them rest and pick. And then every spring. In this spring, we have to do is called thumping them. It wakes them up. And I know it sounds funny, but it's the truth. You can either drop them down on a rock like that, or hit them on the end with a hammer. But that's called thumping. So hopefully next next summer we'll show y'all the mushroom that these patch is making. And Chloe and I'll be eating a lot of good fresh mushrooms. So until next time. I'm Harold. And I'm Chloe, and this is Nature's Friends. If you ever have any questions, email us at naturesfriendsinembarkmail.com. Thank y'all.